Here comes the lights for the start of the 1988 British Grand Prix. Bit of wheel spin on the start, and as usual, we lose our few places off the line. Gotta be careful up here as the whole field concertina is into the loop. Oh, damn, we've ended up up the inside. I do not want to be here. Do not want to be here. Don't want to be that guy. Looks like we've been that guy. Bit of bumping and barging, but. We've got ourselves up to fifth. That was the uh, unintentional dive bomb of the race. Did not mean for that to happen. I just wanted to not run up the back of people and I well, ended up going all the way up the inside. As you do in F1. Because start race, best time to make positions. Unfortunately that translates to other forms of racing where you can be a bit more patient but people are like, oh they do it in F1. So I'm going to dive bomb everything. You don't know. Wait like three corners. You'll get past them anyway. Because this is a series where you can overtake. And not griefly un uncompetitive. Because it's probably some cheap spec series you're in. Damn spec series. Anyway. So we go through the Megas Beggars complex for the first time. We don't get sideways. Which is a good start. It won't be like that at the end of the race. Because Silverstone is bad on tyres and... This car is slidey enough anyway around here. To be fair, my qualifying lap, I did about three corners sideways. But generally, doing cops uh, sideways is a good lot of fun. Everyone should do it. At least once in their life. Managing to hang with the uh, Ferrari here. Looks like our teammate has managed to get himself between the McLarens. That's going to be holding one of them up and allowing the other one to run away. I believe Senna was on pole for this race, followed by Prost. The McLarens remembering how to qualify. You know, and given us, for once, a somewhat realistic qualifying result of a McLaren 1 2. Shouldn't have shifted into neutral there. Would have had him if I ended. Yeah, I definitely am faster than him in the loop. It's just a general AI thing, it seems. No, it seems to be hurting me more as I'm not prepared for it. I'm not prepared to be making passes there. Yeah, Burger doesn't is not fast in the corner for some reason. It seems that in the balance of uh, power and uh, grip, the Williams is winning the grip, but lacking the power. It's oddly apparent here. Oh no. Not a freeze, but we survived. I was going to comment later at the race how I wasn't doing it this time, but... There we go. Who knows what you're seeing now. I know last time it froze up for essentially the rest of the lap. So I'm hoping that clears up. If not, I would have caught at this point. I'll make sure to say nothing important <laughs> for the next lap or so. Oh, he's getting a bit sideways there and still... Still always a tricky corner. Still would have been more or less the same in this age if we were running the Accurate track for the 1988 British Grand Prix. We're not because you know the Silverstone Classic mod is a start, it never got converted properly to Automobilista. And the AI needs some serious fixing and yeah. I can barely convert things to AMS, so, you know, I'm not going to be able to fix the AI or do anything like that, and it, lo it would look kind of crap anyway because it needs serious overhaul to bring it up to standard, so, like the 75 season, we are running the modern version of Silverstone because that mod works, and actually in these cars, this track is not too bad. And, you know, I think it's actually better for than the classic track for these cars anyway. We're completely the wrong gear here. That mess up on Luffield has cost us. Allow Nanini to get right back at us. Maximum concentration. 
for what was pretty average run through those corners. Alright, let's see if we can get back to the burger. Because with the pace we're showing here, I think we can get him. Yeah, if we keep this together, I think we can get Burger. I'm not sure if we'll have the pace with him, Clarence or Mansell, but we can get Burger. Especially if he keeps making mistakes like that. Unfortunately, we're too close when he does make those mistakes and can't really take advantage of them. Too aggressive on the braking there. Try put it in the apex. Nope. Contact. Give that back. That's not how we're going to do this. So yeah, for once when I anticipate him being ridiculously slow to that corner, he isn't. And it makes me look like an complete utter fool. An idiot and someone who should never speak for driving standards. It will spin. That's not what we need. Fortunately, looking in the mirrors, Nanini has pressure of his own to deal with, so we'll survive that mistake. Okay. Let's get this together again. Oh, game. Game Y. You can take that track limits warning and shove it up your arse because that was your fault, game. Oh well. Yeah, as I said, even on the four other attempts of doing this race, it didn't even freeze. I had to freeze, you know, on the half decent attempt. Christ, game, please. Also, everyone's getting feisty behind. Uh, we do not want to be in this group. This is the group of you are ending up in the wall, despite the 3 million miles of runoff. You're going to find a wall. <laughs> That's the way we're going here. Drifto! Screw it, I don't feel like doing 6 more attempts. Let's get back at them. Tires are probably a little bit toasty after that. Feels a little light. Not that I can blame it for being toasty. We did just do a 360. So yeah, remember when I was saying how we were going to take Burger the other ways in the fort? If we get any points from this, it'll be something short of a miracle. Ah, come on. We have the pace for those guys ahead. This race is still young, we can do this. I don't know why I'm so positive today. Yet negative. I'm swishing all the time. Please don't send me to the side trash you place. So why is Capelli ahead of a Benetton? While overall this mod seems to be working out for historic accuracy, how it's doing it perhaps is not the most accurate. You know, we, there's definitely teams that are turning out to be more competitive than it should be. And the t field is tighter than it should be. In general. Which is nice. For those people who like to look back at a classic Formula 1 with rose synthetic glasses and be like, oh, they could race back in the day, oh, it was competitive, and oh, there wasn't one team dominating. There was one team dominating. One team has dominated essentially practically every season of F1. By our handful that we like to remember fondly. More or less since the first Grand Prix. There's always been the best car, there's always been a team that are going to win the championship and it's been obvious that they are going to win the championship after the first two races. You know, it's always been that. And there always will be that. Unless they kill Formula 1 and turn into GP1. Or some shit like that. God, why can't our formulas still be formulas? And that's a rabble for another day, isn't it? That's not the rabble I need now.
Must have been true there about a million miles an hour. About as fast as this track. Come on, I can still see that group. We can get up to them. Hmm. Seem to be holding off what's in behind us, but not as much as I would like. We're not gaining as fast as I would like either. The Capelli, anyway. So it seems we are gaining to the general group ahead of Alberto and the two Loti. Loki? Losis? Losisis? Whatever. Oh, fuck off your track limits. This is 1988. They weren't existed back then. They weren't existed. Oh, that shows I stay in my name, man. <laughs> If you're watching these videos to learn English, I pity you. I would also suggest... Yeah. I know I would suggest that actually most English speakers can't speak English, so... I don't know, find someone who's not a native English speaker and listen to them. That's a random toss. I managed to hold back some time to Capelli. A half lap. That was a bit sideways. That was an aggressive shift as well, you probably heard that one. Like you can hear practically all these shifts with the T300. Kind of annoying, kind of cool, I don't know. Obviously for me, it doesn't matter. Uh, but for recording, hearing all the clicks is probably a little bit annoying. Yes, I know the clicks exist, but no, I'm not going to remove every single one of them because I think it's better to have consistent clicking than too much. Than, you know, inconsistent clicking because I can't get rid of all the clicks. I can't. I get rid of the more stupid ones, but no, I can't get rid of all the clicks. Hudson suddenly has a run. And no, he will not be passing there. I prefer if he didn't battle us. I'd much rather we just hold a station here. Get past Capelli, get onto the back of the Lotuses. And then get something done. Also, we're known that Senna's best lap so far this race is faster than my qualifying attempt. And I'll see he's on race tires and fuel. Which actually makes quite a difference here, I found. Having the sticky tires and the light fuel load around here easily gives you a second. I know it's not shocking to anyone, but. Or noting. Alright, come on, we've closed right up to him. Taking approximately a second a lap out of him. Which is what we need. Should be getting within range that the long straight is going to help us get some slip between. Should already have a bit of a power, power advantage. Alright, get that done pretty simply. See if we can get back to Lotai ahead. PK up ahead. We're going too high a gear here. Okay.
The scoop is actually more spread out than I thought it is. Was. Words. And so the sooner we get this done, the better. I know that's always the case, but with the scoop spreading out, sort of the opportunity to make moves is going to run out as well. We need them to stick together, battle with each other, slow each other down, but as you can see, they've already spread out, so they're not really holding each other up at all. Not what we need. Though, perhaps... It was the fact that they were fighting is why we're so close in the first place. Just another little freeze. At least this one was on a straight. That was very nice of it. I have no idea what co what's causing those. I have no idea. I even cleared out all the replays from the game's folders. So it was nothing to do with the replay, I don't think. Possibly something to do with recording OBS to get an update, so maybe it's not playing nice with it. AMS has been known for not playing nice with OBS. Though I also get these some of these issues even when OBS is not running, so hmm, I don't know. What I should know is how we're gonna catch up to PK because we're making aims at this. We are not doing this right. Come on. Don't let what exactly what I said was happen happen. In fact, they've spread out and now they are going faster than they were before. Which is taking away our opportunity to catch up to them. Also not boding well for getting much further forward than PK, even if we catch PK. Hmm. Entirely expected, of course. This is Silverstone. Very fast track. These number of straights where power counts, so naturally, when comparing naturally aspirated car with a turbo car, you'd expect them to have a bit of speed. Don't exactly explain why Mansell is up there in the exact same car I'm driving, but you can't do everything, can you? Yeah, we're just losing time to PK. We're not gaining anything. Damn it. That was a nice race. We could hope for one of them to blow up or something. Could be a possibility with the Ferraris. I'm not sure about the Lotuses though. Unfortunately, though, we, even though we're losing time to PK ahead, we're not losing time to Capelli and Botsen behind us. Botsen still hasn't gotten past Capelli, which is exactly what we want. And we want him to get held up for as long as possible. Because, yeah, he should have the base to race with us, but he mightn't have the pace to catch up to us if we manage to get a gap going here. A little bit too much curb there. You never really want to actually take that apex curb at the second point of club, I find. Though this is just me, maybe. Maybe if you know what you're doing, you should, but I don't. Most of the curbs are not that friendly here in this mod, so. It's 
best to find out beforehand which curves are actually useful or not here. Even what appear to be flat curves if you take the back of them. And they're just going to really unsettle the car, which is not what you want. As I mentioned, so I hinted it before, these cars are actually quite slidey here at this track. I don't know if it's just a setup thing or a track thing or a setup not working with the track thing, but not really that grippy. It's not very Silverstone like at all. You know, it's a well used circuit, so there shouldn't be any issues of it being a green track or anything like that. Well, according to real life, anyway, who knows what gets translated well in the mod. So why was that track limits violation again? There's not much I could do with their game. Um, and to be honest, I don't really care about track limits when I'm spinning in some of the fastest corners on the circuit. Well, it looks like we get to pass Capelli again. That was fun last time, wasn't it? Oh, I've run way wide here. Not what we need. Or want. Or desire in any way. That's grass. Get back in the circuit. Just having a quick look at the tires to see what's up. They're a little bit worn. As you expect, I still some. Oh, a yellow flag. Oh, that's... Another one of the Benetons has done blown up. And we nearly follow him. Not on the blown up part, but... On the general being off track and not going any further. Which is kind of the definition of blowing up, isn't it? That's well, not full definition. Why am I arguing over the definition of blowing up with myself? Why well, I have much more important things to do. It's a free space, though, so we'll take that. We're still miles out of points, but... At least we're one space closer. I'm still also kind of counting on getting ahead of Capelli again. We did it before, we can do it again. Uh, remember I was clean with this car? I remember. Uh, are they lap cars ahead of us? That did not look like the group of cars that should be ahead of us. No, that looks like a West and a, a Lotto car. Showing that they really must be having a bad time if we are lapping them. Doesn't bode well for them. Possibly our advantage, though. You know, we'll see who gets through the, the traffic cleaner. Could work out for us. Yeah, they're definitely lapped cars. Funnily enough, that blue car ahead is the car I'm thinking of. Uh, they have the same engine as... Well, they should have. They did in real life. But, as I mentioned in the first video of this series, uh, for some reason the mod has given the sort of assume that the Williams had the V10 Renault a year before it actually did. I don't know why, but it did. So as far as mod is concerned, we're driving the 89 car. Also, I'm not even sure if that car is the car I'm talking about. Could be a different one. There was several blue liveries this year. Of 
match for Lucky here. We might, we might get ahead of Capelli before we catch these two cars. That way... Oh, one lap to go. That always surprises me. Time flies when you're having fun, right? Also, we need to get past Capelli. I, I'm not dealing with having him finish ahead of us. Oh, that was a mad dive, but he's got the inside line. Yeah. Yeah, a bit too aggressive there. It didn't exactly get that block pass to work. This is not a place to pass either. We try to get a run off the exit though. Come on. Speed, power, etc. Oh, don't make me overtake him to the cops. Banzai, last lap. Who cares? Yeah, we forced him into the grass. Get that done. And now... Won't be too aggressive on these guys. As I said, he's an up for position, so... No point getting too aggressive on the last lap. Not in the game here. So yeah, that was a 1988 British Grand Prix. I had promises of being a lot better than I did, but to be fair, this is like the fifth attempt I did at this race, so I don't know what I was expecting after five attempts. Uh, so yeah, we started off well, spun, spun again, and then finished somewhere back here, where we usually do. Overall, we might have actually lost many spaces from where we qualified. So, maybe it's not too terrible a result, but... Ah, it promised to be much better. I think we're in Germany next after this, so... Hockenheim. That should be crazy. So yeah, I'll see you next week when we... Try not to blow up our engine. See you then.